you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 5th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 34 to 44 as he went a so he saw a great crowd and he had a compassion for them because they were like a sheep without a shepherd and he began to teach them many things when it grew late his disciples came to him and said this is a desolate place and the hour is now very late send them away so that they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy something for themselves to eat but he answered them you give them something to eat he said to him are we to go and buy two dinari worth of bread and give it to them to eat and he said to them how many loaves have you go and see when they had found out they said five and two fish then he ordered them to go all the people to sit down in groups on the green grass so they sat in down in groups of hundreds and of fifties taking the five loaves and the two fish he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people and he divided the two fish among them all and all ate and were filled and they took up 12 baskets full of broken pieces and of the fish those who had eaten the loaves numbered 2000 men the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends what is the significance of this miracle this miraculous feeding of such a great multitude pointed to god's provision of manna in the wilderness of for the people of israel under moses leadership those food foreshadow the true heavenly bread which jesus would offer his followers jesus makes a claim only god can make he is the true bread of heaven that can satisfy the deepest hunger we experience the feeding of the 5000 shows the remarkable generosity of god and his great kindness towards us in the multiplication of the loaves and fish we see a sign and a symbol of what god always does when god gives he gives abundantly he gives more than we need for ourselves that we may have something to share with others especially those who lack what they need god takes the little we have and multiplies it for the good of others do you trust in god's provision for you and do you share freely with others especially those who like yes a great multitude had gathered to hear us jesus not out because they were hungry for the word of life jesus disciples wanted to send them away at the end of the day because they did not have the resources to feed them but jesus particularly purposefully he asked his disciples to feed them in order to know what he is so my dear friends ask god's grace to satisfy the deepest longing of our hearts and feed us with the finest to eat psalm number 81 16 fill me with the gratitude for your blessings and give me a generous heart that i may freely share with others what you have given to me amen may god bless